Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. I'm the Mysterious JG, and uh, I've been using the, the MF word quite a bit because uh, we're on a boat, or we're getting ready to get on a boat, which is a big thing in the rap community. Well, we're going to get on a boat, and we're going to try to go to the desert continent of whatever the hell, and uh, we're going to go here with the redhead lady. Are you ready? Oh, no. Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? Yes. Yep, that's what I figured. It's like, get taken away by the story immediately. I don't understand how this boat works. This is the Fierta? Fiertia? This is the Fiesta? <laughs> this is a touch dark. This is the Fierta. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordoporlica. And this man is Togunaga of Gold Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. Togunaga is an expert in piloting the Fierta. Tokugawa, you feel thy stab at thee. I'm Togunaga. Very nice to meet you. Patience. I will endure. I will win, as I was meant to win. Tokugawa has at least one pretty cool speech in Samurai Warriors 2. I will win, as I was meant to win. <laughs> We're not in a hurry. <laughs> well, apparently, this is the game's way of telling you. Take your time, fuck around, level up, we don't care. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so we really appreciate your help. Important negotiations that we're not in a hurry to have. Now, I mean, now that you've met uh, Togunaga here, we're going to get Tadakatsu Honda out uh, to talk to you. Just make sure that if you have any <laughs> interesting ideas that you're interested in fattening, uh, don't let him know about it. What is this ship's cargo? That is confidential information. Oh, well, excuse me, princess. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax, we've got it covered. All right, head towards Nordopolica. Go directly south. I'm wondering what this... I don't have a lot of faith in this game. And in a lot of other games, if there was a confidential... Like, you know, this is a Kojima game, for example. If the, the idea of this ship with this um, cargo in it, and we don't know what it is, was raised, then you know it's going to come back later, and it's going to be important. This game, nah, they might just completely forget about it in three minutes. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desir continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fjerta's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get out of land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. Irritating, which means that they're gonna like carve out the places that we can't go to. Probably end up. This might be one of those games you get four different levels of transport before it's over. You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off the ma to clip off our mast. Oh, well, that was the guy. There are other places you can disembark from. Be aware that there are monsters on the other continents, much stronger than you can handle. Right and yeah, we'll figure this out as we go. That's about it. Cool. I'm not controlling it yet, though. This is so bad. We just started out, and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. Master this guild. is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality. Carol's picture is not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. Merman. Why does it have to be Merman? What's the market going to think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's careful. not being careful. That's running and hiding. Yeah. Agreed. 
Alright, so let's see if we can go back to like... Ooh, there's treasure. Let's see if we can get to the treasure. There's a beach. We ought to be able to... Oh, crap. Alright, so these dark patches we can't go through. And even though it looks like there's a gap there, I can't get through it. So I just saw a treasure chest that we basically can't get to. We can get it? No, we can't get over here. It's a big fat lie. We don't seem to be encountering uh, enemies, so that's kind of convenient. We're staring directly at a dungeon. Oh, it's Emid Hill, I think. If I can get back to Don dressed and buy some tomatoes. <laughs> That's my raison d'etre. It'll be nice if we don't run into the merman, won't it? Oh, come on. We're, we're going to fight merman, lady. Mm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. I'm a realist. I was given average size and average ability. But I parlayed that into what I would consider a very successful career. Anyway, thanks for your help. It looks like we're going to make it there on time. Hey, it's Oren. It apparently doesn't get a name. Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. <laughs> Leviathan's Claw? Huh, oh, that's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Really? Have you? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, they're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hoplon last year. Oh, that explains the situation, Heliord. I can't do have this many female voices. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, I can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting Indeed, half round blast here isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blasia distribution. Maybe it's that little short kid mage who was introduced like he was going to be a character and then wasn't. The one who was hanging out with, uh, um, Flynn and, uh, the female knight. Ah, right on time. Everyone be careful. Oh, hey, wow. Mermen are pretty scary looking. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Crush oh, damn, I didn't get to do my crushing eagle. I guess we need to, um, scan them. So we might not get another chance. Predafish. They are weak against fire and grass, or wind, I guess. Fire and grass. It's going easily enough, but... I'm kind of hoping that I'll get a chance to do a fatal strike. Delays, ready to go. Just let him do it. Let him cook and kill these innocent creatures. <laughs> Are you guys just so fucking hungry? I'll get you a sandwich. Fury's now a master of cooking sandwiches. So there you go. You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. And Orin guy's like, thanks. Oh, what are you talking about? I tell you, bravest spirit doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the book. Even while I'm looking for Apathia and doing all sorts of other things. Apathia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. You're a fairy! I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. 
I'm well aware that people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. The Don told you to jump off a cliff? Well then, we've got some business to talk about. I'll leave the navigation to you, Toganaga. Actually, Madam President, would you mind if I handed over the navigation to them for a while? I'm gonna go comb my afro. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. Oh, well, they're giving us control of the boat early, I guess. We could hang around with Coffin for the rest of the game. <laughs> with the ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Except that every place useful is going to be conspicuously surrounded by those dark blue patches we're not allowed to navigate. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh. But don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? But wait, what? You think that we should ignore the main quest of the game? Oh, what the hell? Who are we kidding? For the first half of the game, the main quest was this... Aqua Blast here that nobody cares about anymore. I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. No one was worried about you, bitch. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Would that mean going on side quests or getting on with the main story? Which one is, quote, erring on the safe side? Yeah. All right, then. I'll leave the navigation to you. Oh, don't get to save while we're in the boat, I guess. <laughs> oh, great. I don't want to go over here either. So it's like, oh yeah, I can get almost anywhere except any place you want to go. Alright, so I'm, obviously I'm not getting back to Dongress. Hey, now there's a treasure chest on an island that was not previously accessible. We got a red lens and a mystic cloth, which are usually dropped by those red eye guys. It's ooh, it's like a whole reskin enemy. This will make good practice. Don't get cock. Don't get cock. Maybe I want cock. Sorry. E. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We're the most badass insect killer guys ever. There you go. That was this place. I don't particularly feel like fighting him if I can avoid it. Just seems like something that our time could be better used. So what's over here? Every time we try to go place, I, I, huh? The fog's gotten awfully thick. Ah, so the plot's not gonna let us explore. Okay. They teased us with the notion that we would be allowed to explore. Nah, plot's not gonna let us. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. Perhaps an appearance by Fog Hat. Slow ride. Knock it off. Talk like that long enough, and something bad will happen. Oh, uh, what? You're gonna kick me? In the nuts? Hey, front! I mean bow! Oh, uh, what is it, baby? Hmm. We're going to hit them. She is very calm. <laughs> She's the only one who doesn't yell. Even her feet goes woof. Is that Tursla? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. 
is an archive. I think it says the Atherum. <coughs> it says where? Oh, right there. She uh, read the text that appeared on the screen after she said that. Spooky. No sign of people. What kind of ghost ship doesn't have people? It, it's like it's calling to us. That keep calling me. No way! Come on, get the fear tier going. Fear tier? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't think we'd heard anyone voice acting the word fear tier, so fear tier might be it. The Ceres blast is not responding. I admire a voice actor who can read that line. The Cirrus Blast is not responding. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? How could you not know what a Cirrus Blast is? Everybody knows what that is. What the hell is wrong with it? You think this thing's the problem? The giant scary ghost ship that brought spooky music with it? Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Those are my favorite kinds. Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. Take a look. It's in a book. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the blast here. We gotta go take a look. It's in a book. Reading Are Rainbow. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right. Why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Uh, we, we, we always only have four people in our party at a time. Why... They're just making it so I have to come back here to cycle out party members. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. <laughs> He's like, Oh, school over here, I want to go on this cruise ship. Oh. I guess. <laughs> and who's the third person? I'm not going, no way. Tokunaga? Maybe a uh, redhead chick? Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. Don't worry, believe you. So I guess you do automatically take repeat with you. All of you be careful. We'll set off a smoke signal as soon as the Sarah's blast is fixed. Oh, well, I want you to come with me. Help me explore. What? You want me to give you supplies for free? You're kidding. You've got to ha You're going to have to pay up. It's Kaufman. So she sells gels and stuff. That's fine, I suppose. It'd be nice if she sold some super awesome equipment. And, ooh, she sells a bunch of food that we haven't been able to get. Scallops. The only part of the, f only part of the flesh is used for cooking. Thank you. Squid, a ten-legged mollusk that tastes good raw or cooked. Shrimp, sea creature with a hard shell and tender body, said to represent longevity. Said by yeah, yeah. Sticky flour, a versatile food ingredient made from sticky wheat. Usually kneaded in the dough and cooked in various ways. Kelp, one of the ingredients used for stew, rich in minerals. Yeah, so you see almost all those sushi ingredients. That was pretty expensive, too. Hey there, hot stuff. Let me know if you find anything that would be good to sell. Oh, uh, I'm not good with this sort of thing. I will not take one of Don't keep the president waiting here for too long. No, you don't get it. We want to bring you with. So Rita said she didn't want to go, so let's check in with her. I have to fix the Sarah's glass here. Oh. If, if anything happens, yell loud so we can hear. Me. Be careful, okay? You, you want Raven the Great to come along? Good, great. That's hunky dory with me. Okay, apparently he doesn't want to come. I'd like to go, mm. do you mind? I see, too bad. Mm. Ooh, 
be so exciting. Oh, would you like me to switch in? I guess we'll take these two along. Phew, we can hardly keep up with you kids. Oh, you can't change leaders on this screen. Part with the current members? Yes. Be careful out there. I'll fire a signal when the service class gets fixed. Thanks. Yuri's hunches. It looks quite sinister from the outside, but nothing interesting has happened so far. Yeah, seriously. Looks like all my hunches were off. Hunches? hunches? I was kind of hoping for something, hunches. but you aren't scared at all. Oh, so I should be saying things like, Ah, oh, save me, Yuri, and grabbing onto you? It's no fun if you Depends tell me you're funny, you're gonna do it. Forget it. That's too bad. It sounded like fun. I was hoping that we could have sex, but if you don't want to. Ooh, a whole bunch of these funky new enemies. There's funky new smell coming down. Alright. So we know what Fredafish got going. Aquata's Assassin. Sounds badass, but it's just a reskin of something we've already seen. I didn't actually get to use the magic lens, did I? No. for a few more seconds am I going to get more fun cinemas if I come here with Estelle instead of uh, her is she going to say something or Estelle going to say something about grabbing me in the dark or in the scary fog scary fog being a new euphemism for peace remember me? I thought there would be four of us going eh, I've got to kick somebody out take a hike sister I'll do my best. Right, let's take her along, see if Yuri gets to flirt with her. Group out there, whatever. Not sure. Now it would appear that was just a special dialogue that they had. So I will actually... Wait, what did she say? I'll do my best. If you're tired, I'll take your place. Yeah, but Yuri doesn't get to stay behind under any conditions. Yeah, so anyway, my deal was that I thought it might be fun to see if different people have cinemas. But look, it's, it, I'm starting to think Judith just had one and nobody else does. Because she was making a big deal about how she wanted to go. I suppose I could bring everyone along and try. Oh, what the hell, I'm not going to get anything done in this video anyway. It's almost over. But having that blue save point's nice, because... Just touching it basically means you get healed. I'm not scared or anything. All right, I'll go with you. Not like. I mean, that's it. This is the only person. Who, the, these are the only two who haven't been on the boat at all yet. Might be that I have to get to the second or third screen, and then all sorts of dialogue will pop up, but whatever. Okay. They don't, just from being on the boat, you don't automatically get something. And Carol and Rita would be the combination I'd expect something, where they start having some silly argument where Rita makes fun of Carol for being afraid, but then it's revealed that she is also afraid, ha ha ha. 
better bring a couple of so they won't let me go with just two. They won't let it happen. Alright guys, let's go. Let's let the grown-ups take care of this. Grown-ups, of course, includes Rapine. Okay. There better be something up here, because this climb is going to take forever. Hey, maybe there'll be night vision goggles up here. Or was it night vision goggles, or was it the... Uh, infrared uh, scope. I think it was the night vision goggles were up in the mast of the ship in Metal Gear Solid 2. The Sons of Riveter! So Metal Gear fans, I was excited about Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty because I remember how crazy the story was. And I was excited about Metal Gear Solid 3 um, Snake Eater because that's my favorite Metal Gear game. Metal Gear Solid 4 was honestly the one that I didn't I mean, it's going to be fun, I'm sure, but I wasn't actually, like, longing to get a chance to play that game, so we'll see what kind of happens. It had some Metal Gear Solid 2-esque nuttiness about the story, the nanomachine crazy, crazy nanomachine bullshit. Ogre sword. Is it an odor? I'm an odor ass. <laughs> odor. An ogre ass. A axe. Blah. A demonic sword known as the Master Slayer appears during wars and spreads calamity that causes transition. Oh, neat. Recover full HP upon successfully completing a fatal strike combo. Well, I have to worry about that. That's never gonna happen. Don't hurt us now. <laughs> Okay, do. See, I'm switching from regular hits to technique, and then the the fancier technique, like different levels of nothing. We're done. Guys suck. <laughs> Merman's weapon X. Oh my God, it's an extreme version of Merman's weapon. So. Apparently, there's nothing else to be done up here. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Scary music. Blah, 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 blah. Can't climb up there. There's really no place left to go. Down here. Uh. <laughs> I like how it took a second, though, to catch up. Anti-dog racism. Is there going to be something going on here where... Where the image in the mirror is like evil and twisted or somehow doesn't reflect what's going on with us and... Nope. Actually, we can't see it now. We're done. <laughs> he really sounds angry. Yeah, sandwich. You know what? I don't think she sells uh, what's her face sells the ingredients for sandwiches though, so I probably shouldn't have. Can't carry any more lemon gel. Can't get no soup sugar fruit. What does lemon gel do? Lemon gel is um, ooh, a lot of HP. Um, hold on. <coughs> Pardon me. I guess I'll just use it. What the hell?
Yeah, the other side of the mirror. There's something about this mirror. It almost gives you the feeling there's a room hidden on the other side of the glass. Yeah, well, there isn't. Okay, I hear you. Don't get sidetracked, right? All right, let's get serious and keep moving. Okay. Obviously, this is a, a real thing, and whatever. I don't know. Okay, folks. Um, we're on a scary ghost ship, but um, it's not really a good stopping point. It's a good stopping point time-wise. I know we're near a save point, but I also got to get my dinner out the oven. So we're going to call it a video here, and when we come back, there will be more spooky ghosts. See you next time. Bye-bye.